Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make Wiley Coyote. These two are the exact same pattern, I just changed the colors. I will be doing Wiley exactly like this one, so this is the chocolate rainbow loom color that uh, I'll be using today. So it's the brown and the light color that's inside the bag. And uh, this one has your burgundy with your skin color bands. So again, they're the exact same pattern. Just the silicone bands make it look a little bit bigger. Now in general, he is a big guy. So there are 197 bands approximately and of the dark brown, burgundy, and 93 of your skin tone bands. Um, I'm going to apologize right now because I am going to show you how to do one arm. You will pause the video to make another. I'll show you how to do one ear. I'm going to show you how to do one piece on the face here and one foot. And you will have to pause the video. I apologize right now for that. Um, the video will be too long and I can't upload. So I also want to tell you that I will be using two light color yellow for beads for the eyes and one black. I did find this bucket of the beads. They are your pony beads and they're a nine millimeter. So I just picked the light yellow that's inside. You're gonna need some extra hooks or some toothpicks to hold your pieces on. And I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna use one loom and our loom for parts of it are going to be in its original position and for the other part we're going to make it straight. So to start off we're going to make our loom straight by popping out the middle and putting it straight and push down with your arrows facing down. Now I'm going to get started and I'm going to do the arm. I'm going to start with our brown color and double bands and going down the loom seven times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. With a single band, we're going to cap the end three times. One, two, and three. So that's just going down seven times. We're going to loop up and uh, I also apologize, I'm using the silicone so it just takes me a little bit longer and they're sticky so and just loop up reaching in and remove off your loom and your arm and pause the video and make yourself another one you can put these on toothpicks if you wish or they probably will be just fine on its own. Now I'm going to show you how to do the tail. You can minus this part if you would like just to save some bands or you can do what I'm going to about to show you right now. Again with our loom straight we're going to go down using double bands on the right and we're going to go down five times. So one I'm going to go on the right, two, three, four, and five. Going down in the middle four times, one, two, three, and four. We're going to close it off from the middle down to the right and give it a push down and we're just going to add a cap band so a single band wrap three times one two and three now we're going to loop up we're not putting any holding bands we're going to go some parts straight and some parts crisscross so reach in grabbing your top two bands and bring them to the center reach back in on the right and just loop straight up that one and now we're going to crisscross. So going in the middle, grabbing your bands, and we're going to go to the fourth peg going down on the right. Reaching in on the right, sorry, 
and cross over to the fourth peg going down in the middle. Reaching in the middle and cross over to the right on the third peg going down. Reach in on the right and cross over to the third peg going down in the middle. We're going to cross over one more time, reaching in in the middle and going to the second peg on the right, reaching in on the right and cross over to the second peg going down in the middle. Now just loop straight up, so on the right, up, and in the middle, straight up. We are going to remove this off the loom and slide it on double brown bands. So reaching in, remove on the right, remove on the middle, and remove off your loom. Now I just want to put my bands straight, my loops, and now sliding on double bands. You can take section by section and slide them on and grab both of your ends. Now, if you want, you can probably, you don't need anything to support this, but I'm gonna use a toothpick and put to the side. This is your tail. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the foot. And I'm gonna show you one and you're gonna pause the video and make yourself another one. I've made one already and I've put it at the end of my loom, so you might wanna do that yourself. Now I am going to use the loom in its original position. So just removing your middle and bringing it one up so it looks like this. Again with your arrows facing down. Now I'm going to use double brown bands and I'm going to go down on the right four times. So one, two, three, and four. Going down in the middle four times. One, two, three, and four. Now you just wanna push down. Now we're gonna take double bands and what we're gonna do is we're going to make like a little X. So from your fourth peg going down in your middle, I'm gonna put my bands and bring them to the last peg on the right push down. Taking double bands, I'm going to go from the middle up to the fourth peg going down on the right. Push down. Taking a single band, we're going to cap the end of the right three times and the end of the middle with another band. So a single, one, two, and three. A single wrap three times, one, two, and three. Now grabbing your hook, we're ready to loop. We're not gonna put any holding bands. We're going to go some straight and some crisscross. So reach in, reach in on your right, grabbing the top two bands. I'm only grabbing one. Okay, grabbing the top two bands and making a teardrop to your fourth peg going down in the center. We're gonna reach in on the right and loop over to the fourth peg on the right. So grabbing your top two bands and just making a teardrop. Reaching back in on the right and just loop that one straight up once. There we go. Reaching in on the middle and grabbing those bands and just loop straight up. Now we're going to go crisscross. So going in on the middle, we're going to cross over to the third peg going down on the right. Reaching in on the right and cross over to the third peg going down in the center. Reaching in on the center and cross over to the second peg going down on the right. Reaching in on the right and cross over to the second peg going down in the center. Now the last two bands just loop straight up. So I'm going to reach in on the right and go straight. Reaching in in the middle and go straight. We're going to remove this off the loom and we're going to slide on double bands. So I'm going to remove the right first, then the middle, and remove off your loom. 
Just going to fix mine straight, grabbing double bands, supporting with my finger, and you can take section by section if you wish. I'm just going to put this at the end of my loom. So when you make another one, you can do the exact same thing on the other side so you have two. So pause the video, make yourself another one. And I'm gonna go down three times, just for the neck. Uh, sorry, with three bands for the neck. Switching to my brown, I'm gonna give shoulders now. So from the middle to the right, and the left to the center. Push down. Now we're gonna go down the loom on the right till we hit the second last peg. So just going down, double bands. And to the second last peg. You can do this on the left now, double bands all the way to the second last peg. Sorry, my bands are twisted. And one more. So now this is what you should have. You're just at the second last peg on either side. And now switching to your light color, we're gonna go down the middle six times. One. Two. Three, four, five, sticky bands, and six. Switching to your dark brown color, we're going to go down the middle once. Double browns. Now we're going to close off the middle, so I'm just going to go from the left up to the middle or your middle down to your left. This is your ninth peg, one from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and your ninth. We're gonna close it off on the right side. So middle, down to your right. Just gonna push down. We're gonna add our tail now. So grabbing your tail, I'm just gonna put on my hook, and all we're gonna do is just slide it on the middle peg and I'm just gonna push down to, so it won't be so hard to loop. Now I'm gonna remove my feet and attach it to the second last peg. So removing my feet and just slide on. Removing my other foot and sliding on to the right side. And turn them to the sides. Now we'll be attaching our arms so grabbing your arms, I'm going to put on my hook, and I'm going to attach to the second peg from the top, which is your shoulder area. Grabbing my other arm, and putting on my loom. Now we're ready to put holding bands on. So a single band, we're just going to make a triangle below the arms. So that's one and two, just on a triangle. Three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to loop up. I'm going to start on the left and I'm going to loop until we get to these bands and those I will loop to the center. 
So reaching in and loop up one, two, three, and now grabbing our top two bands and bring them to the center. I'm just gonna push down and now looping on the right, reach in, holding my foot down, two, three, sorry, that's one and two, and three. Now grabbing your top two bands and loop to the center. Now I'm gonna loop on my left all the way to the top and then on my right and I will do the middle last. I want the middle on top at the end when we're looping. So just loop all the way to the top. And to the top. On the right, reaching in. Don't loop your holding bands. And to the top. Now we're ready to loop the middle. So where your tail is, that first brown band, we wanna loop forward. Now looping up the light colors all the way to the top. Reaching in and looping up your neck, or his neck. <laughs> okay, remove off the loom. So I'm just gonna reach in and remove. Be gentle. You don't wanna stretch your bands. This is your body, so you can just put them to the side, put them on a toothpick, or if you have an extra hook. Now I'm going to show you how to do the face piece here at the sides. I'm going to show you how to do one, and you're going to pause the video to make another one. So again, with our loom in its original position, we're going to use our light color bands and double bands. We're going to go down on the right twice. So that's one and two. Now going down in the middle three times. One, two, and three. We're gonna close it off. So from middle up to the right, I'm just gonna push down. Now taking a single band, we're going to double it. So twist, and we're going to make a triangle, and we're going to do this one more time. So a single, doubled, and just like that. Now I am going to loosen up some tension because these silicone bands don't have too much elasticity in it. So I am just going to loosen it up a bit. And a single band, and we're gonna cap the end of the middle one three times. One, two, and three. We're gonna reach in the middle and we're gonna loop up to the right. So grabbing the top two bands, don't grab that holding band. You just wanna grab the two bands to the side and make a teardrop. Now it's just a matter of looping up. So I'm going to reach in the middle and loop straight up. Reaching in on the right, grabbing my bands and loop straight up. Now we're going to remove off the loom and we're going to slide them on double bands. So removing the right and then the middle, off the loom, gentle, and slide on double bands. 
support it with your finger, and you can take section by section. And now I have made my other one, and you can pause the video and use the end of your loom if you like, or toothpicks, or extra hooks. Now we're ready to do the nose. So using our light color, double bands, we're going to go from the left down to the middle, going down the middle once, and we're going to go from the middle down to the right, and middle down to the left. So this is what you should have so far. We're going to take double bands and go from the middle to the right, up, and on the left. I'm just going to push down. We're going to take our double bands and we're going to go down once in the middle. I'm just going to push down. Now we're ready to do our nose. I am going to use a black pony bead and I'm going to slide this on a single band. If you don't have pony beads, you can try using a black elastic. I haven't done this design with the bands for the nose or the eyes, but uh, they always look cute. So you might want to try a black band and wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four, and slide this on a single. And attach. Now what I'm going to do is take a single band and I'm going to cap the end three times. One, two, and three. There are a lot of bands here, so just be careful. You don't lose them. They don't fall off on you. And you're going to reach in and grab the top two bands and go to the center. You're going to reach back in, grabbing the next top two, and they should be going to your left. Reach back in and grabbing your bands and they're going to the right. Reach in on the right and go to the center. Reach in on the left and loop to the center. Now we're just going to loop straight up. I don't want to break my bands here. And loop up. We're going to remove off the loom. And you're going to put this to the side till we need it. You can use a toothpick if you wish or an extra hook. and just put to the side. Now what we're going to do is the ears. I'm going to show you how to do one and you're going to pause the video and make yourself another one. We need our loom to go in, its, in the straight position so popping out, we could have did this before but I'm sorry it's just easier for me to teach and we're going to have our loom straight with the arrows going down. We're going to start with our brown bands and double bands and we're going to go down we're going to go down six times so one two three four five and six switching to our light color we're going to go down the loom three times in the center one and two and three. Now we're going to take our double bands and we're going to go from the center down to the left which is our fifth peg going down. Now we're going to go from the center down to the right and our center down to here. So from our left to our center and our center to our right to close it off. Now switching to our brown, we're going to close off the middle, so just fill it in. So one and one more, two. Now we need a single band and we're going to cap the end on the right three times. So one, two, and three. We're going to take single bands and we're going to go across with a single and doubled. So just double, twist, and double. And again, single, 
and double, single, and double. And now in the middle you have three. So we're just gonna take a single and go straight across. On the last one, a single and doubled. Now, please forgive me, I'm just going to loosen up some tension because these silicone bands don't stretch. So it's just gonna cause me to break my bands. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to loop and we're gonna reach in on the bottom right, grabbing our top two bands and they're going to the center. Watch your holding band, uh, sorry, your cap band. You wanna hold that down so that you don't lose it and go to the center. Now we're gonna loop up the right. So just reach in and just go straight up. I only grabbed one band. Again. And now reaching in in the middle, we're going to grab our top two bands and they're going to the center, like up straight. Just go loop straight up. And we're gonna loop one more time straight up. Now reach back in in the bottom in the middle and you're gonna grab your bands and go to the left. Reaching in on the left and your bands are going to the right in the middle. Reach in, I'm just going and loop up. All the way to the top. Now we're gonna remove this off the loom and we're gonna slide this on, sorry, dark, our brown bands, so double bands. So removing off your loom on the right and then the middle and be careful when you remove I'm just using my hands, not my hook. And fixing and slide this on. You can take section by section, putting both ends on your hook and I am going to store at the bottom of my loom. Now you can pause the video and make yourself another one. So now we're gonna be doing the face and we need our loom in its original position. So pop out your middle and put it in its original. We're going to do the face now and we're going to start off with our brown bands and we're gonna go from the left to the center and the center to the right. We are going to go down the loom on the right twice, one and two, and on the left, one and two. Now going down in the middle twice, one, sorry, we're gonna go once, Forgive me, go down once in the middle so your loom should look like this. Now taking your light color, we're gonna go from the left up to the center and center to the right, push down. Now we're gonna go down again in the middle with our brown color and now switching to our light color, double bands, we're gonna go down once on the right and once on the left. We're going to add our face extensions on. So what we're gonna do is this piece here, which I have at the bottom of my loom, I'm going to remove one and attach on my left side. I'm going to split up the loops. So one side will go here and the other side is gonna go there. Reaching in and grabbing my other one, I'm just gonna turn my loom around and putting it on my right side 
and one end here and one end there. Now we are going to take double bands our light color and go down once in the middle. We're going to close off the face now taking double bands. We're going to go from the left up to the right. We're going to do this from the middle, sorry I said to the right, from the left to the middle and middle to the right. Go down. We're going to take a single holding band and we're going to make a triangle and we're going to do this in the center of the face. So be where your face pieces attach. So this is your third pegs going down. Now what we're going to do is the eyes. I will be using the pony beads and sliding them on a single. Now if you don't have the pony beads, um, you can pick what color eyes you would want. Maybe you would want to try two black and just using black or with a white um, and then just maybe wrap it around four times. Two, three, and four and sliding them on a single. If you wanted to add the white bands, just loop around each black twice and we're going to attach it on the second peg on the left to the second peg on the right. So I'm going to put, do the pony bead for the eyes, sliding them on a single. And attaching to the loom. Now what we're going to do is take a single band and we're going to cap each end on the right and the left three times. So one, two, and three. Taking another single, wrap three times. One, two, and three. We're ready to attach the ears. So we're going to reach in, or wherever you have them. You just want to make sure that the brown is on top when you're placing it on the loom. You don't want this part on top. So I'm going to apply this to the right side. On the top. And now grabbing my other ear. Or his ear. And placing it on the loom. And I missed a loop. Sorry. Next, getting your body. Just the brown is on top of the ears, okay? Next, getting your body, and we're going to place him on the middle peg at the bottom. So slide him on. And so now that your body's on, we're going to put our nose on him now. So when we applied the cap band, when we wrapped it around here, that's the top of the nose. So it kind of looks a little bit different than the bottom. So I am going to put my hook through where the top is. And I'm going to put this on my third peg going down in the center. One, two, and three. And now we're ready to loop up. So I'm going to start on the right and I'm going to reach in and I'm going to grab these bands and just do a teardrop to the center. So reaching in, grabbing your top two bands and they're going right to the center. I'm going to reach in on the left and grab those top two bands and they're going to the center too. So just the bands that are headed to the center. Do not grab your face pieces, these extensions here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop up 
just this one in the middle. So I'm going to reach in, I'm going to loosen it up because I have a lot of bands here and I will have tension here. And we're just going to loop forward. But what we're going to do is put our nose through and loop up one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop up on the right till we get to the eyes. So reaching in and grabbing your bottom bands. You do not want to grab the side of the face, those bands, just your bottom. Reaching in and grabbing your brown. When you get to the eyes, we want to loop this band. We don't want to loop the eyes. So just grab this band and loop to the center. And now we're going to loop up to the top. So reach in. I only grabbed one band. And to the top. Now I'm going to loop up on the left to here, to our eyes. So reaching in and grabbing your bottom bands and loop up one and loop up one more time. Reach in and grab just this single band, not your eyes, and loop to the center. Reaching in and now loop to the top. Now we're ready to loop up the rest of the middle. So we are at where the nose is, the brown bands. So we're reaching in and move your eyes out of the way if need be. And looping up one more time. Now we're going to slide this on a single band and we're going to do a slip knot. So grabbing both ends and sliding one over. We're ready to take them off the loom. So I'm just going to use my hook So this is what you should have, something like this. I'm just going to pop the eyes through. We can fix the ears. One's going to kind of curl towards, like down. I'm just going to give the bottom part a stretch and the other side and just kind of bend his ears so they go down. I'm going to hide this slip knot, reaching in the back, just anywhere and grabbing one end and bring him, bringing it to the back. Just his nose. Just move the bands around. Just going to give him a little tug. Fix the arms the legs. Now my bands are a little bit more stiff so you should have a little bit more little it looks a little bit better. Now what I'm gonna do is the tail what I'm gonna do is turn it around towards the back. You'll have this these bands right here in the back. You'll have two sets of loops. If you did the tail what you want to do is just bring your tail through and we're going to do this again just bring your tail through. Those were the loops that we went sideways on the bottom of the body. And just bend it towards the back.
Now you can take a black marker and if you have used the pony beads, just put little dots Now for the face, I am just going to open it up a little bit at the end that's attached to the face. And if you do have this band here, this is the holding band, this just belongs in the back, if that happened to you. Now I'm just going to fix my cap bands that we had at the end, stretch it around, and give it a little tug. So it's a little bit pointier and a little bit wider at the face. On the other side, little bit pull, cat band so it's pointier and just open it up towards the face. And then you can just play around with it. Um, fix it up a little bit more if you want, but he's pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my hardest one and um, I'm having no luck with these bands. So, um, I hope you like this design and um, please subscribe down below. I have a lot more designs to learn and I'll see you next time with another one. Bye for now.